Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 12 problems I've completed on computing the capital gain. In this video, I'm starting from 13. Few more problems I'm going to explain in this video. So all the problems on capital gain are based on the theory. So before starting, before watching the problem, you must watch all the theory videos. To be acquainted with the provisions of Income Tax Act 1961, how to compute the income from capital gain. So far, we have done the problems on long term capital gain. But in this video, I'm going to explain you how to compute the short term capital gain. So before starting the 13th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain. Now, see the 13th problem. During the previous year, relevant to the current assessment year, Srimati Sopna sold the following assets. Compute the income from capital gain and tax liability if income under other heads uh, is nil for the current assessment year. So, particulars, three assets are given. That is, uh, uh, house let out for commercial purpose, open land in city and gold. All the three are capital assets and gain arising will be capital gain, taxable. Date of purchase 21st March 1999. It is sold during the current previous year 21-22. So it's a long term capital asset, long term capital gain. Open land in city which was purchased on 1st May 2005. Now it is sold in 21-22. So again long term. Then purchase the gold on 4th May 2009. Again sold during the current year. So when all the assets are held for more than 3 years then the gain arising will be long term capital gain. Date of sale 13th January 2022. Our current previous year is 2122. So during the current previous year all the three assets are sold. Purchase price, sale price are given, transfer expenses are given 0 0.5%, 1%, 2%. Cost inflation index 2005-2006 is 117 and 2009-2010 is 148. It is not given the index number for the current previous year that is 21-22 and we already know in every problem it will not be given. So you have to remember for our current previous year 21-22 index number is 317-317 that's it. Now see carefully. Srimati Sopna, computation of long term capital gain for the assessment year 22-23. House, land, gold. Consideration received, this is the sale price. So sale price is given 26 lakh, 20 lakh, 85,000, 3 lakh. Selling expenses, transfer expenses are 0.5%, 1% and 2% on the sale price. So 0.5% of 26 lakh, 13,000. 1% of 20 lakh, 85,000, 20,000, 2% of 3 lakh, 6,000. Deduct, we'll get net consideration. From net consideration, we deduct the indexed cost of acquisition. So actual purchase price is 10 lakh, 10,000 into current previous year is 317 and the index number for the purchase year already we have discussed in the previous video if the asset is purchased before 1 4 2001 then the index number will be taken as 100 because we have the index number only from 2001 and 2001 2002 before 2001 2002 we don't have so any asset purchased before 2001 2002 we have taken as 100 so 317 by 100 will get 32 lakh 1700 land 5 lakh 85000 is the purchase price current year index 317 divided by purchase year index 117 similarly gold 384 38480 into current year previous previous year index 317 purchase year index 148 so these are bracket bracket denotes subtraction so after deducting indexed cost of acquisition, we get long term capital gain or loss. If you get in negative figure, it's a loss. Positive is profit. So here one negative. 25 lakh 87,000 minus 32 lakh 1,700. You are getting negative. 6 lakh 14,700 negative long term capital loss. Here positive, here positive. 
तो टू लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन एंड वन लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल लॉस अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रोविजन ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एक्ट लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल लॉस कैन बी सेट ऑफ फ्रॉम लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन सो वी एड अप एल टी सी जी ऑन ओपन लैंड एल टी सी जी ऑन गोल्ड दिस टू एल टी सी जी वी हैव एडेड फ्रॉम दिस डिडक्ट द लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल लॉस द लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल लॉस सिक्स लैक फोर्टीन सेवन हंड्रेड सो आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड थर्टी नाउ इन द प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट द एस एस सी डज नॉट हैव एनी अदर इनकम सो ओनली इनकम इज लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन द बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट इज टू लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड and the total income is below 2 lakh 6 to 50000 so there is no tax liability the tax liability is nil because the income is below the basic exemption limit that's it this is the end of problem number 13 now see the 14th problem during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year mr quick purchased a house for 4 lakh 20000 and after 12 months he sold the same for 4 lakh 80000 Then brokerage paid to purchase the house ten thousand and to sell the house eighteen thousand. Calculate the capital gain. When the house, when the uh, I mean building, land, building or both, if the SSC hold for two years or more, then it is a long term capital gain. If it is sold within two years, it is called short term capital gain. The first time we are coming across a building which is sold. After twelve months, immediately after twelve months, that means the gain arising will be a short-term capital gain. So, in working note, you should write down the SSC held the building for less than two years, so the gain arising is a short-term capital gain, and short-term capital gain is taxed at slab basis along with other incomes. Right? Now, here, uh, Mr. Quick, sale price received. He sold the building for four lakh eighty thousand, right? From that we deduct the brokerage paid on selling the building. On selling the building, he paid the selling expenses brokerage eighteen thousand. Deduct four lakh sixty two thousand is the net consideration. From net consideration, deduct the cost of acquisition, not indexed cost of acquisition. Indexed cost of acquisition will be applied only for LTCG. for long term capital gain indexation will be applied for short term capital gain no indexing actual cost so actually the purchase price of the building was 4 lakh 20000 and the brokerage paid on purchasing the building is 10000 now the building purchase price or the cost of acquisition in is not 4 lakh 20000 but 4 lakh 30000 the brokerage paid will be added to the cost of purchase The building purchase price is four lakh thirty thousand. So four sixty two minus four thirty thirty two thousand is the short term capital gain. This is very important. First time we are discussing about short term capital gain, right? In working note, you should write down the building was sold immediately after twelve months, so it is a short term capital gain. The, the tax on short term capital gain will be applied at slab basis along with other incomes. That's it. Now, fifteenth problem. Mr. Jimmy purchased the equity shares listed of a company. Now, remember, for equity shares, the holding period is one year. If the SSC hold for more than one year, then only it will become long-term capital gain. If it is sold within one year, then it's a short-term capital gain. So, Mr. Jimmy purchased the equity share listed of a limited company on fourteenth December, twenty uh, twenty, for two lakh eighty thousand. on 24th march 2021 that means in the month of december he has purchased and in the month of march he sold within 3 4 months that means within one year he sold it so the gain arising will be short term capital gain so in the working notes you should write down the ssc sold the equity shares within one year of purchase then the gain arising is a short term capital gain so here on 24th march 2021 he sold the same For three lakh fifty thousand, the cost inflation index for twenty one twenty two three seventeen ignore. For short term capital gain, we don't require index number. Ignore it. Find out, calculate the capital gain. So, Mr. Jimmy, sale price received three lakh fifty thousand, no selling expenses. So, net consideration three lakh fifty thousand. Purchase price two eighty. The short term capital gain seventy thousand. That's it. Fifteenth. 
Now, next I am uh, reading out about the 16th problem. Srimati Rukmini purchased a flat for 14,50,000 in Krishna Apartments, Dwarka, on 2nd November 2021. So, 2nd November 2021, she purchased a flat. Flat is a house, building. So, again, the holding period is 2 years. If the SSC hold for more than 2 years, then long term. If the SSC sold away the building within 2 years of purchase, it's a short term. She has purchased on 2nd November 2021. She sold the same to Radha on 3rd July 2021. Then for rupees uh, 16 lakh selling expenses. Actually, there is a printing mistake there. 2nd November 2020. She has purchased on 2nd November 2020. She sold the same to Radha on 3rd July 2021 for 16 lakh. The selling expenses were 11,000. Cost inflation index we don't require because it's a short term capital gain. Compute income from capital gain for the current assessment year. So here, uh, Srimati Rupini, consideration received 16 lakhs, selling expenses 11,000. Net consideration 1589. Cost of acquisition 14 lakh 50,000. Short term capital gain is 1 lakh 39,000. This is the end of 16th problem. Now, 17th, Mr. Deepak Agarwal purchased a machinery for business purpose whose written down value at the beginning of the previous year is 17 lakh 25,000. During the previous year, he sold it for rupees 21 lakh 40,000 and selling expenses 11,200. Calculate capital gain. It's a different problem. According to the provisions of Income Tax Act, if a depreciable asset which is used in the business is sold, then the gain arising always will be short term capital gain irrespective of the period of holding. Even if the business holds the asset for 50 years, doesn't matter. The sale, the gain will be short term capital gain. Provided two conditions are given. The asset must be used in the business and the asset should be a depreciable asset on which depreciation is allowed by Income Tax Act. Machinery is a depreciable asset. Machinery is being used in the business. So gain arising on sale of machinery will be a short term capital gain. So how to compute the short term capital gain? Sir Deepak Agarwal, sale consideration 21,40,000 selling price. Minus selling expenses 11,200 deduct. Net consideration 21,28,800. From that, we are not deducting cost of purchase. We have to deduct the book value. What is the written down value at the beginning of the year? The written down value at the beginning of the year was 17,25,000. Deduct. We'll get 4,3,800. This is the short term capital gain. So after computing this in working note, you should write down according to the provisions of income tax law. Any depreciable asset which is used in the business is sold away. The gain arising will always be short term capital gain irrespective of the period of holding. That's it. Next, 18th problem. Uh, Mr. Mohan Raju of 84 years, 84 years means super senior citizen. His basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. So Mr. Deep, oh sorry, Mr. Mohan Raju of 84 years of age is owning a building which is used for running his business. Owning a building which is used for running his business means building is a depreciable asset which is used in the business. So always the gain arising will be a short term capital gain. Now on 1st April 2021, the book value of the building is 15 lakh 30,000. Calculate capital gain and tax on it if it is sold during the previous year for 18 lakhs and the selling expenses are 50,000. Income from other heads are 3 crore 14 lakh 20,000, huge amount. So he's having huge amount of other income. Apart from that, he sold the building which is used in the business. So whatever gain arising on the sale of the building will be a short term capital gain. Now, sale consideration received of the building 18 lakh, selling expenses paid 50,000. So 17 lakh 50,000 net consideration from that deduct the book value of the building 15 lakh 30,000. The short term capital gain is 2 lakh 20,000 from the sale of the building. That's it. Now income under other heads is 3 crore 14 lakh 20,000. 
the SSC is a super senior citizen, so the basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. That you have to remember because the age is 80 years. If an SSC's age is 80 or over, he will be called super senior citizen. The basic exemption limit 5 lakh. Income on the other hand is 3 crore 14 lakh 20,000, short term capital gain 2 lakh 20,000. So total normal income will be 3 crore 16 lakh 40,000. On this income slab system will apply. The first slab 5 lakh because he is a super senior citizen. So up to 5 lakh rupees income is 5 lakh nil, no tax. The next slab goes, goes from 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh. From 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh the income is 5 lakh. The rate of tax is 20%. So 5 lakh into 20% 1 lakh. Next slab will be the balance. Over 10 lakh, the rate of tax is 30%. Now the total income is 3 crore 16 lakh 40,000. From 3 crore 16 lakh 40,000, deduct the first two slabs, 10 lakh. Deduct 10 lakh, the remaining 3 crore 6 lakh 40,000. On this, the tax rate is 30%. 30% if you calculate, 9 lakh, uh, 91 lakh 92,000. 91 lakh 92,000 plus 1 lakh. So 92 lakh 92,000 is the basic tax. 91 lakh 92 lakh 92,000. That's the total tax of normal income. Now we have to add a surcharge. This is the first time we are we are adding surcharge. Previous problem surcharge was not there. Remember, surcharge will be added if the income exceeds 50 lakh. If the income exceeds 50 lakh, different rates of surcharge are there. 10%, 15%, 25%. But right now, remember one point, if the total income exceeds 3 crore, up to 5 crore, it is more than 3 crore, but up to 5 crore, the surcharge rate is 25%. Note it down, write it down immediately. If the income is more than 3 crore, all these points I have discussed in the starting video, when we, when we have started the subject income tax, in the beginning, exemption rules. On this exemption rules, I have explained about this surcharge. So if the income exceeds 3 crore up to 5 crore, then surcharge will be at the rate of 25%. Here the income is more than 3, 3 crore. More than 3 crore, but below 5 crore. So surcharge 25%. So 25% of 92, 92, 23 lakh 23,000. Add up will get 1 crore 16 lakh 15,000. To this add, uh, health and education as mandatory 4%, every time it will be there. So 4% of 1 crore 16, 15, 4 lakh 64,600. So finally, the tax liability of the SSC is 1 crore 20 lakh 79,600. This is the tax liability of the SSC. That's all. So you have seen every problem, one or two new points we are covering. So always maintain the notes, write it down. What are the important provisions I'm explaining? In that way only you can be able to remember and you can confidently write in examination. Don't underestimate that the problems are short problems, easy problems. In examination, they will twist the problem. That's why you should have the perfect knowledge about the provisions. So we have completed so far 18 problems on this capital gain. Inshallah, the next problem will continue in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your friends, among your groups so that more students can watch the video and subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.